like we said before, David Houston was nice enough to drop off as a ZR1 vet. 09, 010, we can't figure it out. Yeah, he thinks it's a 2009. I believe him. Um, we've had a lot of fun with this car. Actually, this car you guys used in the car show. Mm -hmm. We did the in the pilot episode of that. And that's probably why he had to put tires on it right away. I've got a silver one, just like this. It's a 10. Of course, our guys have done a little magic with heads and cam, and uh, we've done a little work with a supercharger. It's got about 725 rear wheel horsepower, and so... Uh, these are, what, 630? 630, yeah, yep. Are these things full-blown slicks? They're pretty close. You see the size of this tire? He's got, he's got a 335, but it's a 25 series tire. And uh, picked up everything in the parking lot. They're so sticky. You probably don't want to drive this car in the rain no, anyway. Absolutely not. I think maybe second only to the Viper in terms <laughs> of heard a lot of took my Viper out in the rain stories that didn't end up so fantastic. Yeah. It doesn't even need to rain for that story to happen in Viper. Uh, that, it can be pretty that's dry. True. Somebody's sprinkler hit the street and I was driving a Viper. Right. So, uh, this car, and again, the 2014 version of this car. Yeah, so we're, like we were saying before, the new C7 came out, and so far, as far as we know, they're skipping the ZR1, they're just doing a supercharged version of the Z06, which is a little bit less horsepower, I think. They're saying something like 620, 625, so it's right. closer, but they're doing it with a smaller supercharger. I'm really curious to see how it's all happening, and I'm sure Ken's gonna see it before any of the rest of us, and he'll probably get it all in pieces before the rest of us actually see it on the street. So yeah, Ken, I still have hopes that they're gonna do another ZR1. You know, yeah. I, I hate to think, I mean, this, this was so cool. It's so fast, so much fun to drive, but you know, it is what it is. We'll deal with what we can. Is there, so. a, is there a limit? To how much horsepower you think the, the, they can make at the factory before the, the car just doesn't make sense to sell to the general public? Like yeah. you're driving yours is almost 800 horsepower, right? But would you recommend that among people? You know, I think obviously you want to sell parts. So yeah, yes, obviously, but. and and they're probably where they need to be so far as from the factory. They leave the aftermarket uh, to take care of it from there. Yeah. You know, I like to say that, you know, they take it, they test it, they engineer it, and they take it out to here. And then by the time they go through all the regulations they have to, they deliver it to the customer here. The customer brings us the car, we take it back out to here and then we add a little more. If somebody's listening, doesn't have enough money to go out and buy a new car, maybe not enough money to buy a new car and bring it to you, but maybe enough money to buy something that's a few years old right. and bring it to you or do or, or, or work with it, work with the brakes, work with the suspension. What, what would be a good base to jump off on? Yeah, you know, I gotta tell you, and you know, there'd be a lot of people who might disagree with me, but you can have a lot of fun with a C5 Corvette. Those uh, Z06s that they built back in the day, yeah. we've got all kinds of things we can do, naturally aspirated or supercharged to make those cars even more fun than they What than they year to with. what year and about that, what That would price? be, uh, well, the actual, I mean, but 97 what, to 2004 was the last year for C5. And what could you find like a, you know, single owner, fairly low mileage, one of those on eBay for? They started in 2002 with the Z06. Yeah. And so, you know, you can probably buy one of those for like high teens, low 20s. So uh, that's a lot of fun. Oh, it's a blast. For a car that's 20 grand. Yeah, right. But, and then spend six, seven grand, even hey. 10 grand. Yeah, and you're still, I mean, you, you could go out and buy a new uh, Subaru ST, whatever, yeah. or a Nissan a 370 or something like yeah. that, and have fun with that car for 40 grand or 43 grand, or for about 30, you could have twice the horsepower right. on a car that you didn't weren't making payments on, <laughs> and that you say you dialed in. Yeah, and, you, you could drag race, you could autocross, you could road race with those things. They're just a lot of fun. And, and then when you get into C6, same thing goes. You know, there were a lot of opportunities there. With the C7 come up, the prices have come down. I mean, I'm on eBay all the time. It's, it's like crack cocaine for me. I can't help myself. <laughs> I have so much fun on eBay. But the fact is, you watch these things and the prices are really reasonable. And yeah, and a lot again, of fun when, to be the, had. when the new one comes out, the old one drops down. Right. right. Should Good we fire this thing it. up just because? Pop the uh, hood and, and, uh, oh yeah, I. You don't need it. to pop the hood on this car. It's it's it's, it's pre-popped. Oh, I was walking the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> carbon fiber. Look carbon at all that carbon, carbon fiber hood. hood. A lot of carbon fiber around there, and uh, again, uh, incredible. Oh, this car's got great manners around town. 
I mean, really, even uh, even the one that I've got with 700 horsepower. So even even with your even with your 800 to the crank, still right. sit in traffic. Oh, sit no heat. problem. That's healthy. All right, don't do that again. It hurt me. Uh, interior, <laughs> nice on this car. Understated, uh, almost almost European. And uh, here's a car you could probably find on eBay for, you know, uh, above eighty. You know, eighty two, eighty three with some miles on them. And, um, and have a have a world beater. Yep. For uh, yeah. again, not not for free, but when you're looking at buying something new with 100 less horsepower, and it's going to cost you 25 grand more, it's starting to look like a bargain. All right, so Ken, where should we go if we want to uh, come out and find? You know, people want to go on the internet and find yeah, you. Yeah, just Lingenfelder.com. And if you want to look at the collection, there's a button there that says LingenfelderCollection.com. We've got. Probably about 50% of the cars photographed yeah. there on that uh, on that site. All and right. uh, following us on Facebook, we're always letting people know what we're doing, but posting video of our racing and things of that nature. So lots of fun. So, also want to thank oh, yeah. uh, David Houston for bringing the car over. David's been on the show many times. He owns the Barney's Beanery chain yeah. of restaurants. Got the Mangria flowing over <laughs> Mangria's there. Mangria's well. on tap over there, right. I think. At least he's got plenty of bottles. So. Check out uh, any of his restaurants. We'd appreciate that. So until next time, this is Adam Kroll for Ken Lingenfelder, David Houston, and Matt, the motorator, DeAndrea, saying keep the air in the spare and the bag in the wheel. So